And with regard to sinning, Ibn al-Qayyim, he quoted a narration upon Bilal ibn Sa'd. Because some people believe that, oh, if it's a small sin, alhamdulillah, it's only a minor sin. Bilal ibn Sa'd, he said, لا تنظر إلى صغر المعصية ولكن انظر إلى من عصيتا. Don't look at the, sm- the minor or the smallness of the sin that you have committed, but look to the one you have disobeyed. Meaning, don't look how small a sin is, whether it's minor or major, but look to the one who you disobeyed. The one whom you claim that you love, but yet you disobey him. The one whom you claim that you fulfill his command, but you turn away from him. But Ibn al-Qayyim, he mentions some of the effects of sin, some of it is known. But inshallah, just for reminding myself and you, let's just read it and pick a few of them. From the effects of sins, is that one will be deprived of knowledge. And no being deprived of knowledge is being deprived of good. Hurman al-ilm. Fain al-ilm nur. Because knowledge is light. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places in the heart. وَالْمَعْسِيَ تُطْفِي ذَلِكَ النُّورِ And sinning, it puts out that light. And inshallah we'll summarize due to the time. Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, شَكَوْتُ إِلَى وَكِيعٍ تُؤَحِبْنِ I complained to Waqi' one of the scholars of the Salaf. Me being unable to memorize. فَأَرْشَدَنِي إِلَى تَرْكِ الْمَعَاصِي And he advised me to leave off sinning. وَقَالِ عَلَمْ and Waqi'i said to me, meaning Imam Shafi, no. بِأَنَّ الْعِلْمَ فَضْلٌ That ilm is a fadl, it's a blessing. And the blessing of Allah is not given to a sinner. So that's one. If you sin, you'll be deprived of ilm. That's why the majority of the people who are fussaq, and the people that we know, whether they be amongst us, or whether they be in various parts and we don't know them, those filth, those ghusa, the scum of the water, know that they don't possess knowledge. And they're deprived of knowledge because of their sin. And if they want knowledge, then let them abandon their sins. Because knowledge is light, and disobedience puts out that light. Another point mentioned by Ibn al-Qayyim, and he mentioned many, but we'll pick, inshallah, a few. وَمِنَهَا From the effects of sins ظُلْمَ A person finds darkness in his heart A real darkness And again this is an important point Because a lot of us we have the mentality Alhamdulillah I'm saved I'm upon the haqq Well if you're sinning Well we got a message for you from the words of Ibn al-Qayyim That you're on the verge of destruction Sinning as Ibn al-Qayyim He mentions يُحِسُّ بِهَا كَمَا يُحِسُّ بِذُلْمَةِ اللَّيْمِ when a person sins, he senses the darkness in his heart, like he senses the darkness of the night. And he continues a few lines later. He said, The more darkness a person has in their heart, the more confused they will be. And wallahi, that's, we've seen that from the people who continue to sin, they're always those who have shak, doubt. Or they're always those, for example, who are confused about matters of their religion. Look what Ibn al-Qayyim said. حَتَّى يَقَعْ فِي الْبِدْعَ وَالْضَلَالَاتِ وَالْأُمُورِ الْمُهْلِكَ وَهُوَ لَا يَشْعُرُ Look at the end result. Until a person ends up upon innovation, misguidance and affairs that will destroy him. Look, مَعْصِيَ Maybe today... The effect won't be apparent. Ibn al-Qayyim said, the ma'asya causes darkness to come into the heart. And the more the darkness increases, the more the confusion increases, and the more the confusion increases, until you end up on innovation and misguidance. And that's the truth concerning those who end up upon hizbiya, those who end up upon bid'ah, and those who end up joining those parties and groups. Many of them were fooled by the shaitan, and they started sinning. So don't have this false sense of security. Don't have this false belief that you're chosen no matter what you do. 
Whether you obey Allah, whether you disobey Him. Because this is the belief of the Yahud, the Jews. Ibn al-Qayyim continues. From the effects of sin, الوحش يجدها العاطف قلبي بينه وبين الله. That the slave who is a sinner, he'll find there's an alienation, an alienation and loneliness between him and Allah. Meaning there's, there's no connection. And he went on to mention no matter if he was to gather all the beauties of the dunya. And then Ibn Qayyim went on to mention another point of sins that a person will find that he will be lonely and alienated and this will occur between himself and the creation meaning the rest of the people. And wallahi this is the truth with the sinner. And look what Ibn Qayyim mentioned. لا سيما أهل الخير منهم فإنه يجد وحشة بين وبينهم وكلما قويت تلك الوحشة بعد منهم من مجالستهم وحرم ببركة الانتفاع بهم وقرب من حزب الشيطان بقدر ما بعد من حزب الرحمن وتقوى هذه الوحشة حتى تستحكم فتقع بين وبين امرته وولده وأقاربه وبينه وبين نفسه فتراه مستوحشا بنفسه إن القيم said another effect of sins is that a person will feel alienated and lonely and this will occur between him and the people especially the people of goodness those people upon khayr, those people upon good. For verily the sinner, he will find that he feels alienated. Meaning he cannot mix with those people who are upon good. And the more this alienation increases, the further he comes from the people who are upon piety. And the more he distances himself from their gathering. And the more he's dis- deprived from the benefit of, of the blessing of benefiting from them. And due to this, he comes closer to the, the, the party of the devil. Depending upon the distance, he is removed from the, the party of Ar Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at this and pick an example. Many of us have maybe examples that we know in our head. When you see an individual sinning and continuing to sin, look how he finds it hard to mix with those people who are upon khayr, upon good. So when. He finds it difficult the further he comes. So maybe he used to phone you every day. Then he phones you one time, once a week. Then the more he sins, then you hear from him once in a month. Then the more he sins, you may never hear from him. And who is he with? He's with the Hizb al-Shaytan. He's with the sinners and the transgressors. And the criminals and the fustaq. This is an effect of sins. Ibn al-Qayyim mentions another effect of sins is that أن المعاصي تفسد العقل Disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it causes your intellect to be polluted and decayed and it's true. The sinners, if you speak to them, you can't even hold a conversation with them. If you want to talk about a normal subject, they can't even speak except with utter and filth. Ibn al-Qayyim said, فَإِنَّ لِلْعَقْلِ نُورًا Because the intellect has light. And again, sinning, it puts out that light. The light of the intellect. And he said, some of the salaf they used to say, مَا عَصَى اللَّهَ no one disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until his intellect left him. Again, maybe some of us have examples that we can think about. And when we think about maybe people who were once companions and our friends, we see this is clear and apparent when it comes to them. <coughs> Naam. Ibn al-Qayyim mentions another effect of sinning min عقوباتها, from the punishment of sinning and disobeying Allah subhanahu wa 